All right, now we're joined by two recurring guests to the program here on CBS 19 Sports. It's Brett Chancy and Mr. Eric Heisman of the Locked On Astros podcast, Locked On Podcast Network, partnered here with us at Tegna. And uh, these guys have been doing some great work these past few weeks as we hit the all-star break here in Major League Baseball. Let's talk a little Astros. And uh, my first question for both of you, whoever wants to chime in, the Astros have been busy adding to their bullpen. Yimi Garcia, they brought in Kendall Graveman and Rafael Montero the other day. Uh, fellas, first off, what is this going to do to help bolster this bullpen as they play the dog days of uh, August and September and prepare for the postseason? Graveman brings another experienced arm. He used to be a starter, but he's learned how to close. I think they're most impressed with his breaking stuff, his off speed, his spin rate. And so the Astros are real high on that. And he loves being a part of this team because he knows they have a culture of winning and he loves putting on the uniform. So you love to hear that from a guy that wants to go out there. And he said, I have no ego. I'm willing to pitch whenever they need me. They may not be the big name that everybody wanted, but they're definitely somebody who's going to uh, bake, extend the bullpen and make it where you can uh, have um, – Brian Stanek and uh, then Brian Abreu and uh, a little bit further down in the, in the bullpen. As we look at the power structure of the American League right now, obviously Oakland's not going anywhere, nipping right at the heels of the Astros. You look in the Central, you look at the East, you got teams like the White Sox in Chicago, the Red Sox in Boston. And for the sake of the argument, I'll throw in Tampa Bay, who's only about a game, game and a half behind Boston. Who would you say right now each is the biggest threat to attack the Astros when it comes to potentially winning the pennant? Right now, I would have to say, uh, I would say Boston is uh, pretty good and the White Sox. The White Sox have a pretty young team. The question mark would have to be their uh, rotation. I know they pitch pretty good against the Astros, especially Rodone and uh, Lance Land has uh, struggled versus the Astros in the past, but he, he pitched pretty good. Uh, I'm not, and Tampa, Tampa is making some moves uh, and they have a uh, potential to go out and make a big boss blockbuster and, and that's not like them, but they can go out and do that. But uh, I would say that Boston and the White Sox are the teams that really worry me. And the A's have made some uh, moves to keep up the Astros. Is it enough? I'm not sure. For me personally, the only team that I'm really worried about is the Chicago White Sox. Because then I think in a shortened series, their pitchers are on Giolito, Keuchel, um, Rodon. I mean, all their pitchers this year, Lance Lynn, when he's on, he's on. They've got great guys. They've got great pitchers. They've got... Uh, they have Jimenez that has that has come back. So some of their guys that have been injured. Boston, we've taken care of them in the past. Um, we, we've, we've fared well against them. We've also fared well against the Rays. And I know the Rays are a tough team. The bottom line is when the best teams are there, they're going to give it their best. The only team that really scares me from the Astros' perspective is the White Sox. Where can they find your podcast? Go to your smart device. Apple, Google, Spotify, Odyssey, wherever you get your podcast. Just type in... Locked on Astros and subscribe to us and check us out.